Hi, this is Michelle Miller of Thickle Knitter Design. Today I'm going to quickly walk you through the steps you need in Clue 2 of the Mariposa Tea Knit Along. The steps we're going to follow in Clue 2 are going to be the place markers for waist shaping, work a decrease round in four rounds incorporating the lace panels, twice, then we're going to work three rounds, and finally we'll, we will work the increase round for, in four rounds twice. That'll be it for Clue 2. Waist shaping is going to help shape the garment to give you a better fit. It's accomplished using a series of increases and decreases. We'll do the decreases first at the four markers we're going to add in the place marker row. After we work two sets of decreases, we're going to work three rows plain and then two more sets of increases. Here's a quick video of me placing a marker just in case you've never done it before. For the decrease rounds, you'll work 12 stitches of the right side chart, then to 2 stitches before the marker, slip slip knit, move the marker, knit to the next marker, knit 2 together, knit the stitches as indicated in the pattern, work the left side and the right side of the chart, knit to 2 stitches before the marker, SSK, knit to the last marker, K2 together, knit the stitches as indicated in the pattern, work the left side of the chart and ending at the beginning of the round marker. This is the end of decrease row the first. Here's a quick video of me working up to the first waist shaping marker of chart right side chart row 1. I work all 12 stitches of the chart and then I'm going to knit to two stitches before the first marker and SSK. Don't forget that you're going to knit the next four rows including the lace panels. In fact, you're going to work the lace panels, otherwise known as the right and left side charts, all the way through the end of clue 3. When you work the decrease round a second time, you'll have one less stitch between the 12 chart stitches in the marker. Don't worry, this is all indicated in the pattern. Each action row, i.e decrease or increase row includes the right and left side chart row number to help you keep your place. Here's a make one. This is the increase you're going to need to use when you do the increase rounds. But first before you do that you're going to work three rows plain but don't forget the lace panels. For your increase round you're going to work 12 stitches of the right side chart then to the first marker, make one, move the marker, knit to the second marker, move it, make one, knit the stitches as indicated in the pattern, work the left and the right side chart, knit to the third marker, make one, move the marker, and finally knit to the fourth marker, make one. Don't forget to knit the stitches as indicated in the pattern. Then you'll work the left side of the chart ending with the beginning of round marker. This is the end of increase row the first. You'll go ahead and work the increase round a second time with one extra stitch between the 12 chart stitches in the marker, followed by four more rows. Don't forget that you will continue working the right side and left side charts on every row. That's it for Clue 2. See you next week with Clue 3. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with the knit along.